What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S21 Ultra released earlier this year is widely considered the best smartphone you can buy in 2021. This is because the overall package that it provides would please a very large number of average users. So people are expecting the same thing with the Galaxy S22 Ultra as well. With each new piece of information, the S22 Ultra continues to impress. Today we have some official news from Samsung that shows the S22 Ultra could have the industry first hardware that not only makes it faster but will make it more efficient as well. Samsung today announced the world's first LPDDR5X DRAM chip for mobile devices. It's fabricated using the 14 nanometer process and it boasts data transfer speeds of 8.5 Gbps which is 1.3 times faster than its predecessor and 20% lower power consumption compared to LPDDR5 DRAM found in devices like the S21 Ultra. Now some might wonder what exactly is the use of a faster RAM. Well, with faster RAM, you increase the speed at which memory transfers information to other components, meaning your fast processor now has an equally fast way of talking to other components, making the phone much more efficient at every task. Now, even though Samsung didn't mention it, but it's likely that they will use this RAM on the S22 Ultra first before opening it up for other device makers. With that said, there's this news from Let's Go Digital citing a former Samsung employee that Samsung has decided to use only the Snapdragon variant of the S22 models in all the regions worldwide, including regions like Asia, Europe and more. But turns out that was a wrong piece of information. Max Weinbach has shown the existence of Exynos 2200 in the leaked source code. IC Universe has also confirmed through its sources that the Exynos 2200 exists and will be used in the Galaxy S22 along with the AMD GPU. This means the US, Canada and China will get the Snapdragon 898 variant while the rest of the world will get Exynos as usual. Anyway, Samsung is upgrading the rear camera setup on the S22 and S22 Plus with a new 50 megapixel sensor. But it looks like the front cameras will remain untouched as Samsung is again using the 10 megapixel sensor for the selfie camera on the S22 and Plus variant while it's gonna be 40 megapixel on the S22 Ultra, again same as last year. This marks the third year in a row that Samsung has not changed the front-facing cameras on their S-series flagships. Moving on, a few days ago we got the first look at the Galaxy S22 Ultra that showed the handset has the same chin as the Note 20 Ultra. Now, some people were wondering if that's gonna be the same with the S22 and S22 Plus. I mean, will it be the same as their predecessors or is it gonna be thinner? Well, IC Universe mentions that the chin on the S22 Plus is actually smaller than the S22 Ultra. Now, he didn't say if it's gonna be smaller than last year, but according to past information, Samsung is indeed gonna trim down the bezels even more for a futuristic look. Of course, with that said, do consider subscribing for all the latest updates on the Galaxy S22. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.